today I just kind of picked out an assortment of perfumes and some lip glosses and just a few lipsticks that I would like to share with you because they are particularly tingly and make some nice sounds. I'm filming right by the window and I hear some birds right now. Actually, I don't know if my microphone's picking that up, but just excuse any sounds you may hear. It is pretty quiet though besides that, so we might be fine. So I'm going to start with these three Too Faced lipsticks. These, they may still be available now, but these three were part of a Christmas set. And they came in this Cute little pink sparkly bag that I was going to include in this video, but I was not able to find it. So, the first one I have here is in the shade. Shimmering Naked Dolly and they're very thin kind of metal material painted obviously gold and I think they're very pretty and there's Too Faced and Great so as I was saying I'm not sure if these shades are specifically Christmas, but maybe you can find some similar. It's this kind of nude color. I don't know how well you can see it. With a shimmer to it. They all have some shimmer. This one. It's kind of hard to see while swatched, but it's very pretty on. And it's very neutral. I will say one thing about these lipsticks. I do like them a lot, but they can be a little dry. So. You will want to wear some sort of moisturizing aspects too. The next one I picked up is Shimmering Marshmallow Bunny. This is a lighter pink. And again, obviously, hence the title, there's some shimmer to it. And I like this one a lot as well. It appears brighter when on. And I think I would say I wear this one most often. As it just goes better with what I wear and my makeup. So the first two obviously were kind of lighter colors. The next one, Shimmering Spice Spice Baby, is a lot darker and I find it's harder to match, but it is a very pretty color. I don't even... Um, it's like a crimson, I'd say. It's not exactly red, 
but there's definitely a reddish tint and a little bit of brown. It is very pretty, it's just harder to match. I just like the packaging of these. I think they're very pretty. And I picked them, well all of these, I normally have out on display. And these are the three lipsticks I normally have out. Just because they look nice together. Now the next thing I have is just a clear lip gloss. And it's cherry scented and filled with flowers. I got this, I believe, from Urban Outfitters, but I'm sure you can find it other places. And I actually wear this a lot with those lipsticks. And there's a little bit of the Spice Spice Baby <laughs> on the top there. So, I have to clean that off. But, it is cherry scented. And I think it smells really good. And this is a very pretty little bottle. That is nice to have on display. And it's Blossom Scented Lip Gloss Moisturizing Formulas Infused with Real Flowers. So I'm sure you can look that up and find it. So my next one, I got online. It's actually one of my favorite brands for, I guess, skincare and also, I guess, lipsticks. This is actually a gloss bar by Tony Molly. And this doesn't say the color anywhere on it, but it is a little petite bunny. They're comparable to chubby sticks like Clinique has and other brands and this one is really cute I have it in a light pink as well but I find the light pink doesn't show up more this is I've actually had it for a while and I wear a lot of it I don't know how much there we go it's very bright red orange but it doesn't show up that bright when you swatch it, but when it's on, it's very pretty. And I wear this one probably the most out of all of my lip sticks and glosses. Just because it looks nice with my skin tone. pretty and obviously it's really cute they have a ton of other colors and I just really like that brand this right here is by them too we'll get to that in a minute the next is a lip gloss by Clinique and it is long last gloss wear and this doesn't say what color, but it, it kind of matches this, except it's a little darker, or at least in the bottle. It makes some nice popping sounds. And it's this like gold shimmer in it, and I think that it's very pretty. And it is very long lasting because it's super thick and 
and gooey. But it's not the bad gooey, but it is a little bit weird at first to wear. And this is my only one I have by them. And I do like it. I think it looks pretty, but I wouldn't recommend wearing it for a dinner or anything like that because it can be hard to wipe off. <laughs> but it does look very pretty. So the next is a lip gloss, actually not by Clinique, by CoverGirl. And this is kind of your basic muted pink. And all it says is CoverGirl. I'm guessing it's just their basic lip gloss. And again, this one has some nice sounds. And this one is fairly new because I needed a new colored lip gloss. I'm actually not a huge fan of lip gloss. These are the only few I have. And it is very pigmented. You could probably just wear it alone without any sort of color on it. And it's nice. I'd say it's not super moisturizing, but it's glossy and less thick than the Clinique one. Both of them I like a lot. And I keep them out because it's just easier to grab them when they're already sitting out <laughs> instead of looking for them in my big of chapsticks. And the CoverGirl one, or no, I'm sorry, the Clinique one has some ridges to the cap. And they sound very nice. So next, I really hardly ever wear lip liner, but these two are by Lancome, and Lancome is rather expensive, and I only had these two because um, I have a friend who only wears Lancome. So she's always getting- oh, my camera. Sorry about that. Is always getting these samples. And just picking up extra products she doesn't need. So she gave these two to me. They're Lip Contour. In the color Coral. And... Cherub, and I've actually worn, I think it was Cherub before with the Too Faced because they're pretty similar in color, but this one, the liner, is definitely more purpley, and they just roll up like that, and you can just, oh my hand's going to be so messy after this, it is a very pretty color. And it's definitely more purpley than anything else I own. But when covered with the lipstick, it does look nice. I just tend to find liners never look too great on me. It has to be one of those days. <laughs> so the coral really isn't coral. Or the way I imagine the color. It's kind of more of a nude. Let's find a room on my hand. Or I guess it's a bit brighter. When you draw it out. But I guess you could wear that with like a very toned down orangey pink. And I don't really know 
how to review these because I hardly ever wear lip liner. But as far as I know, they do the job, so. There I go. So that is actually it for lip products. So I'm just gonna roll these to the side. And now, I have a couple fragrances I would like to share. Starting with this roll-on. It is Japanese Cherry Blossom. This one's actually, yeah, this is by Bath & Body Works, so it's nothing too special. And I used to wear this fragrance actually all the time. I have the perfume and lotion that goes along with it as well. And I actually don't wear them much anymore, but I still like the scent of this and I keep it because I think the gradient of the bottle or this little roll-on. Oh, the thing is stuck. There we go. It's very pretty as it's kind of like a red gradient into a whitish pink. I just sort of like that. And I haven't used that much of it. You can kind of tell. Not much is missing, but it's nice to keep out. And my next little roll-on is the brand Illume and I'm pretty sure I got this from Anthropology and it's by the Go Be or maybe hang on let me see if I can read this okay so it's Illume and it says Go Be Lovely and the scent specifically is coconut milk mango and it's kind of like a dent up here in the little cap. I bet I dropped it. And this one's fairly newer. It was actually a gift. So I'm not exactly familiar with this brand. But it's kind of more, it's definitely more fresh scent than the Japanese cherry blossom, which is obviously as a flower, more floral. I can't say exactly what this reminds me of, but the bottle is very simple and pretty with its gold accents. And they're both made of glass. And while I do have a slowly growing perfume collection. These have remained my only two roll-on perfumes. And they're actually quite useful. I hope to collect more as these are easy to just pop in your bag and go. Or I guess I wouldn't really consider the next one a roll-on because it's more of a bomb. But this is again Tony Molly. And there are many different little bunnies in different colors and face styles. This one kind of is powdery. It has I can't explain the scent. Kind of smells like fresh laundry. And I kind of picked this up, not because I'm in love with this scent, because it's so cute. And I believe I picked this up at Urban Outfitters. 
because I have seen their products there before. And Tony Molly is a Korean brand, and they have some really nice face masks and scrubs. And I recommend them because generally, Korean products are just mm, gentler on the face, and they're really well made and cute packaged. So, here's a little bow tie. They have purple and blue and orange and possibly even a light green. And you just kind of open it, and it's almost like, um, a stick blush, but you just kind of put it on there and rub it together. So I guess it's almost lotion-y, but I hardly ever wear this, it just looks super cute on my shelf. And it's one of my favorite products, just because of the way it's packed. I'm kind of a sucker for packaging. <laughs> so, these next four, I don't think I've ever worn or even smelled. <laughs> I just kind of picked them up because they'd be a nice addition to this video. Um, I'm not sure where I acquired most of these little perfume samples. I'm sure those of you who are into makeup know, you just kind of end up getting samples over time. I'm not really sure what to do with them. But today, I will spray these on something and kind of tell you about the scent and what brand they are. But I like having these cute little their glass, so they make some pretty nice sounds. So this one, Tresson by Lancome. Um, let's see. It kind of just smells like their makeup. to smell it when it's just a tiny little bottle like this. But it's kind of a peach liquid. And I believe it's probably expensive. And when you twist the cat, it makes some little clicky sounds. You might hear throughout the video some crinkling because my arms are propped up on a pillow because I have been working all day and they get stiff so I need kind of this comfort. So I apologize if that's very abrupt or distracting during this video. The next one is I'm not sure exactly who it's by. It just says Carvin Le Parfum. I don't know if Carvin is the brand or the name. Um, it's kind of like a short little bottle. Let's see if I can spray it on something and smell it. Mm kind of smells like the perfume your grandma wears. Um, not my cup of tea. But, maybe it's yours. <laughs> the next perfume is Cartier. 
La Panther. These are all French, so I don't think I'm pronouncing them exactly right. Don't know why perfumes are always in French. Um, again, I don't know if I've ever heard of this brand. Definitely heard of Lancome, Nat Cabin, or Cartier, but let's see. That's not bad. You can just tell these are all kind of, oh, they sprayed a lot. I wiped that off. These are all kind of higher end perfumes, and you can tell because they just have that scent to them. That one actually doesn't smell that bad. There's like a sweeter tone to it that makes me like it more than this one. The last thing I have is keep knocking into my camera. I have to fix it. My little tripod has a little broken piece. When I bump into it with my nose and my hand, it kind of shifts it off. Um, this is Dos Gabbana. Definitely heard of this before. This one's a little black bottle. Kind of hard to smell again. This one smells, I guess, a little more. Oh, that was a lot. This one doesn't smell bad either. It's lighter than the other three, so I like that about it. I believe this one's super expensive as well. And unlike the others that are made in Paris, this one is made in the UK, so that's kind of cool, I guess. So that is it for my little, I don't know what you call this, gloss or lip and perfume products that I just wanted to share with you. these all back in the mail again. Bye, and see you next time.